They were told they'd never walk again, but Tampa Bay veterans now have renewed hope thanks to a robot that takes the place of their own skeleton. Our Alice Amaro takes us inside the James A. Haley Hospital to show us the new piece of equipment that even has doctors amazed. Deployed to Kuwait in 2011, John Vale made it about six months before the tank he was riding in flipped, ejected him, then rolled on top of him. When you can't feel, you have no idea what's going on. I mean, for all I knew, it was a bloody mess. Vale soon learned the weight of the tank pinched his spinal cord enough to paralyze him from the waist down. Immediately, he had one question. Am I going to walk again? That's... You want to ask that so bad, but... He never did. He didn't want the answer Dr. Kevin White typically has to give. In the past, you know, I can never say yes or no for sure. And Dr. White would have said that to Vale until he saw this. And push forward, push forward, push forward. Called the exoskeleton because it takes the place of a human skeleton outside the body. Programmed with the patient's unique body dimensions, walking speed, and gait length. Besides it being a workout, it feels great. I mean... I'm standing up, I'm moving, walking. They're actually going to be upright, standing. Their whole family can see them uh, in a position that they never they hadn't seen them in before since their injury. The exoskeleton also helps with bone density, digestive function, cardiovascular health, and most of all, hope. Walking is taken for granted by so many people. And once it's taken away, it's amazing whenever you get it back. Because it's so new, doctors are still learning about all of its benefits, including whether it may eventually help cure paralysis. It's life-changing for me to see it. It's life-changing for the uh, veterans or active-duty soldiers. Vale says he doesn't even feel like he's wearing a brace, and the only other time that happens is when he dreams. You know, when I dream, I'm walking. I'm never going to give up, and especially now. In Tampa, Allison Morrow, ABC Action.